listening to her, it's something once again that me and my brother came up with, and it's, it's what you said. It's 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 something that either it can mean a lot to you on the business side, or it mean it can mean a lot to you on the personal side. For me, I never try to be defined off how many records I sell. Um, I think it's more important for my mark to try to be made in terms of what I stood for and what I always stand for. My sophomore album come out. I don't want to be in New York. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be somewhere throwing a major party. That day, to celebrate the grind and the journey, it falls on a Tuesday. I can't see my brother on Tuesdays. I only can see him on you know, Mondays, Thursdays, you know, Friday, Saturdays. It's something that I want to be in the space. Um, and I'm doing something that's really important to me. I, my mind's already made up on that because it's a celebration, but it's a celebration that I want niggas who are at the worst point in their life to be a part of. Um, so for the prison tour, that's just what it is for me. Like, to see niggas, bruh, like, get inspiration, to see me in a visitation room, It's something that I can't describe. Like, them niggas my biggest inspiration. To see niggas still functioning with 25 life sentences and shit over their head, like, I seen a nigga that I knew that six months ago before he got fucked up, like, I met the nigga on the road before, but I was in visitation to see my brother. I seen him coming out the back. I was like, damn, I know, dog. So for my brother to tell me, oh, yeah, he just got here probably about three months ago, dog, got 25. And to see a nigga still functioning, bro, with 25 years, like, that's top of the line motivation for me. And, and that's something that a record label I never understand, but the niggas that are locked up, who from our culture, them the niggas who everybody in the streets look up to. Because it's fucked up mentally that it's that way, but them the heroes of the hood. The niggas who in the pen. And it's, I'm not the dude that say it's right or wrong for it to be that way, but those are stripes that the streets give you, but them stripes that I don't want. I don't like being around niggas, period, in terms of every day, all day, 300 niggas in one dorm. Like, some niggas snow, some niggas smack when they eat. That should have run me crazy, bro, because I'm not that dude who spends all this time around 30 and 40 niggas on a day-to-day -day basis. I like my, I love my, my, my personal time and my space because it allowed me to think from, a, from a, a clear mind perspective. So to see niggas function in these environments, bruh, and to know every day I wake up how blessed I am to not have my freedom stripped from me, I never forget them niggas because those are the niggas that the streets salute. So whether they can buy albums or not, to know I'm embraced by some of the realest niggas that ever run the streets, that mean more to me than any records I can sell. The site, uh, the Big Long site, um, it was an idea uh, that I had, but it, it wasn't, we, we didn't think about BigLong.com. Um, I got a call one day from the label, and they said that uh, the same cat, uh, Mike, had reached out and, I guess, got the domain name or, or purchased the domain name or whatever. And it was perfect because me and my brother always wanted to create an outlet for motherfuckers that were affected, have been or currently affected by the whole legal system to have something that they felt personally a part of that allowed them to kind of voice their opinion uh, and their concerns. 
whether it was uh, posting um, a picture of, of, of their loved ones that's currently down, who, who, who you know, who's lost in the system, but just to try to, to just to try to create something that not only was positive, but something that was meaningful. Um, I got another website now that we about to launch in the next two to three weeks, but it's my own hip hop site, and it's called Goon Talk. It's called Goon Talk, and it's it's just for me. It's it's something that's totally different, and I feel that that's that's even out there because I want to create an avenue just for motherfuckers to talk, but to freely express themselves and to freely talk. So I wanted to to coincide one of the things that I created, which is the whole term goon, to create to 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 bring it over here to the right and incorporate something that's such as GoonTalk.com that it's different than any other site that I've seen because it's an uncut site. It's the shit that you would see on this site, you ain't gonna find nowhere else. So just to have an opportunity, man, and have the, the blessings and the power to, to put together shit, not to enhance my status, but to put together some shit that, that is meaningful and serves a purpose, that's what I try to do to my music. And that's what I try to do in my in my personal time or, or any business ventures that, that that I allow myself to be a part of.